Welcome to using Zotero on a Chromebook. While Zotero works best on the Mac OS or the Windows OS, it is possible to use Zotero on a Chromebook. There are just a few more steps involved. You have two choices on a Chromebook. You can either use Zotero.org and copy and paste citations in a Google Doc, or you can install Linux on your Chromebook. Most users will opt for the copy-paste method, and those instructions can be found in this video. Let's start at the Zotero website, Zotero.org. If you have a Zotero account, you can log in. If you don't, you can always register for a free account. And if you use your Wake Forest email address for your Zotero account, you will be able to use the cloud storage space provided by Wake Forest. Once you've logged into your Zotero account, it's also possible to use other email addresses. If you know you're going to lose your Wake Forest email address at some point in the future, it's probably worth the time to click on Settings, and under Settings, click on Account, and under Account, add a personal email address. Leave your Wake Forest email address as your primary address, because again, this will allow you to take advantage of that free cloud storage space that the university purchases from Zotero. Once we've logged into Zotero, we'll see our name in the top right corner, and we'll see an option on the left to click on Web Library. Our Web Library will show us options for using our sources that we've added to our online Zotero library. Before we can start using these sources and organizing these sources, we need to learn how to add the Chrome browser plugin to our web browser and learn how to add items to this library. So to add the Chrome plugin, all you have to do is return to the Zotero main page, click on the download button, and click on the install Chrome connector. You can also do this with Safari or Firefox, but Zotero does work best in the Chrome browser. So if I click on install, if this says remove from Chrome, it means you've already got this plugin added. If this says add to Chrome, then please click the button to add this Zotero connector to your Chrome browser. That will appear under your extensions icon, which looks like a puzzle piece in your Chrome toolbar. If you click on that puzzle piece and scroll down to Zotero, click on the blue push pin icon and that will create the Zotero button in the toolbar and make it stick. So you can see there's a white sheet of paper icon right here and that is our pinned Zotero button that will add any web page to our Zotero library. So once we have this plugin added and we can see this plugin, we can visit a resource like the ZSR Library's website and we can do a search for a topic like ecotourism in Costa Rica or any search that you'd like to do right now. And we can find an item And once we have found that item, our Zotero icon, in this case, will be a blue book icon because we found a book on our topic. If we click that blue book icon, it's going to ask us if Zotero is running. It's not going to be running on our Chromebook, so we're going to need to enable saving to the online library. Click on that option and it will save it to zotero.org to your account. To confirm that this worked, all you have to do is navigate back to zotero.org, click on Web Library, and look for the item that we just added to the library. And here's all the information we need for our book citation here on the right. Once we have our citations in our library, it's very easy to add either the parenthetical citation or the bibliography entry to our Google Doc. We'll open up a blank Google Doc, 
and we'll go to our Zotero library and select the item we want to cite. In this case, I want to add the parenthetical citation, so I'll come up to my toolbar and click on the citation, Add Citation button. I'll use APA 7th, but you can see there are over 10,000 supported citation styles. There's my parenthetical citation. I don't need a page number in APA unless it's a direct quote. I'll copy that to the clipboard. I'll type some text and pretend it's time to enter my parenthetical citation. And then I'll just paste in my parenthetical citation. If I go and pretend that this is the end of my document, and this time I click on Add Bibliography, I can copy this to my clipboard. I can go to my document and I can paste in my bibliography entry. Now, if Zotero is missing anything, you're going to need to proof that citation and confirm that it is accurate. Zotero does the best it can with the screen scraping technology it uses to pull information from the databases. This has been Using a Chromebook with Zotero. I'm Hugh Womack, and if you have any questions, you can always email askzsr at wfu.edu.